Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's me, R Squad 911 back again with another unboxing video. Uh, today it's not quite, well, it's not comics and it's not a statue, but uh, this is a movie replica um, prop. And this is made by Cine Replicas. They're located in France. And uh, it was really, really hard to find one of these. Uh, they were long sold out. Um, and the prices now have just gone up like crazy um, from what these retailed for. Uh, I picked this up for about 700 US. And I believe these things retail for, I don't know, um, 400 US. Uh, but m what I got this for was on the cheaper side. Um, some people are selling these. I've seen them on eBay for like 1200, 1100. Uh, I've seen some sell for 1500. So um, they're all across the board. It all depends on the collector and how much they want it. Uh, this one, however, is not for me. And I'm going to be posting this video months from now because <clears throat> we bought it for um, one of our really, really good friends, if not best friends, uh, for their birthday. So Sarah, she is the mother to my our god children, uh, Julian and Oliver. So this is for Sarah. Uh, doing, I opened this up earlier because, like, I've already cut it open because I wanted to see that everything was there, but then I realized like I should be doing an unboxing video. But of course, I'm not gonna put upload this unboxing video until after her birthday, after we give it to her. So we're gonna make sure, I'm gonna open this up because we did pay quite a bit of money for it. We wanted to make sure it's actually in the box and make sure there's no damage. Um, so we can figure out what we can do from there, either get it repaired because these things are sold out or if it's really bad damage, we're gonna have to return it and figure out another awesome gift. But I, I hope that this is in great shape um, and this will be the most epic birthday present for her ever. Um, she's a huge Harry Potter fan. Um, I'm a big Harry Potter fan, but not as big as her. Um, we dressed up my daughter a few years ago when she was an infant as a baby mandrake, put her in a giant pot, put her in a costume, put some leaves on her head and it was awesome. Um, I'm gonna upload a video and probably show it right now. Uh, yeah, so that was my daughter. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's get to opening this thing up. So I'm not exactly sure what to expect because I just kind of stopped at this. Um, and what I see right now is just a bunch of styrofoam. You can see that like there. <clears throat> Take this off. And it looks like there is the broom bottom. Some instruction manuals here. Sorry, this is, I don't even know. I was too excited about this. This is the Nimbus 2000 by Cine, Cinema Replicas. Cine Replicas. Nimbus 2000 limited edition, limited to 10,000 made worldwide. They had a version before this one, which was one solid piece. Uh, that didn't do too well because I think there was quality issues and uh, they weren't built as nice as this one. Um, however, it was probably nice to have it as one piece, um, but I think it's cheaper to ship as two pieces. So you'll have um, <clears throat> what we see here. Oh, we can remove this part. It's easier to ship in two pieces. Oh, there's something in here. I think that's the plaque. We'll be sure to check that out. Um, but we have the bottom of the broom right here, the bristles. Um, this is made out of actual willow bristles, willow tree bristles. And the handle is supposed to be made out of solid mahogany with a high varnish with a Nimbus 2000 engraved in it with a hand painted gold. Um, so. Um, the quality of this one has gone up, I was told at least by other collectors that has gone up quite significantly since their first um, edition of this. Um, maybe because they made some money off the first ones and they were able to put in some more uh, time and effort into this second edition. Uh, but yeah, we have the little kickstand here. It's wrapped up and kind of like the, the Hogwarts newspaper which is cool. Um, it has all the different uh, houses here, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, um, Slytherin. So that's really cool. I'm gonna put that over here. 
And then, yep, that's the plaque again. And when you look at in there, you have uh, the broomstick. Now the broomstick is actually quite end to end. So I'm actually a little worried. I mean, they could have made this box maybe an inch bigger and gave a little bit more padding because uh, it is pretty much right up against the box. So if it got jarred like left and right or dropped, uh, there could be some damage to it. Uh, but this one looks okay. Hopefully it's okay. And uh, yeah, that is a solid mahogany handle right there. Really interested to see what it all looks like. And that is pretty much it. Lots and lots of padding, lots and lots of cutouts. So I think it would have survived. I mean, they could have also moved this up further so there'd be more padding on this side because there's a lot of padding uh, this way. But anyways, that is it. There's no art box or anything. It just comes in this brown shipper, which pretty much says Nimbus 2000 limited edition Cine replicas. Um, learn more about our Harry Potter products at www.cinereplicas.com and their address. Yeah. And it's, it's official, it's Warner Brothers and whatnot. So this is an officially licensed product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these pieces on the table here, like so. And we are going to move the camera up and we'll get kind of like a angled bird's eye view and we'll unwrap these together. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back. We got a little bird's eye view here. We're gonna unwrap everything here on the table. First, I'm gonna show you the instructions. Uh, this is assembly instructions. It says, insert handle with Nimbus 2000 logo facing front side. Okay, turn handle clockwise until it stops and secure. So I really hope that they've designed this where when you spin it on, it's gonna stay straight uh, with the kickstand uh, feet support um, with the Nimbus 2000, because that would be really weird if it was like off off on an angle. Um, I mean, I'm sure I could put some washers to make it straight, uh, but most people, they probably wouldn't know how to do that and they'll just be like stuck with this weird broom handle that's not aligned with, straight aligned with the kickstand and whatnot. Um, this broomstick is an authentic limited edition numbered replica produced under the official license from Warner Brothers. Constructed from top quality materials, this unique handcrafted broomstick is an accurate Scaled reproduction of the Nimbus 2000 as seen in Harry Potter, the Philosopher's Stone. Accompanying your broomstick is a new, in this new edition, will, you will also find your numbered metal plate certificate. Cool. This Nimbus 2000 has been handcrafted using natural materials. There can be some irregularities as flaking uh, of the barks or color or color deviation on the bristles. These specifications are integral part of the broom and cannot be considered a defect. That's no problem. So composition, bristles, weeping willow wood and handles mahogany. To clean, you clean with soft humid cotton cloth, so a damp cloth. Uh, you, you do not use cleaning solvents or abrasives. Obviously you're not gonna use sandpaper or like magic eraser on or something. The broom is not a toy and doesn't fly. Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Once the installation is complete, please recycle the packaging. Who's gonna recycle this packaging? You gotta keep this packaging. Look at this stuff, right? Okay, so first we are going to open the plaque. And before we look at the plaque, I wanted to show you guys this stuff here. Cool. So it shows you Quidditch at Hogwarts. So Either these are instructions or, um, you know, when Harry Potter first got his broomstick from uh, Professor McGonagall, kind of got flew, flown in, dropped off by the owls, and he opened it up and he was going to, you know, he finally had his the Nimbus 2000 because they showed that in the store and all the kids were just like crowded in front of it. And, um, you know, it was a big thing. And then of course, Harry Potter gets the Ferrari of broomsticks for free as a gift, so, which was really awesome. And then it shows here the golden snitch. And then it shows the broomstick here. Which is really cool. All right, 
So I'll put that off to the side. And ooh, that, that's a metal plaque. That is really nice. Certificate of Authenticity, Nimbus 2000 Limited to 10,000 pieces worldwide. This handmade masterpiece is numbered uh, 6,447 of 10,000. Really, really cool. Wow. I like that. I wish it came with some sort of sort of stand because it's just either you just put it on a table, but it would be nice if like, it propped up. Um, sure, we can figure something out. Of course, and the back is a soft like velvet velour sort of like material. So it's very, very nice. Okay, what should we open first? Let's open this part. I really like how they tied it. I gotta kind of remember how they did this so I can tie it back. Because this is just to, to check. I guess let's do it like that, wrapped around there. Okay. Right, with this twine. And then of course we open this up ever so gently. Just gonna make sure we pack this. I, I love this kickstand. And wow. That is super cool. And this is the wrapping paper here. Pretty much repeats itself from there to there. And everything here, I guess, is like the rules and how you play the bats, uh, the ball, the snitch, golden snitch. Yeah, the bludger. Yeah. All right. So this is the bottom of the broom and the number 6447 matches the plaque, 6447. And I must say this is built really, really well. I mean, these are real weeping willow trees, tree uh, branches or the, the, the vines, I don't know what they're called. Um, and these are metal rings wrapped around, very nicely done, same as this. And uh, the kickstand here, it can be held up like so. A little loose, you can just kind of shake it and it'll fall down. But I think you'll either display it like this or display it hanging on the wall like that. So either way, gravity will hold it like that or gravity will have it like that, which will be cool to be hung on the wall. And then that's where you screw in the broomstick handle. And you can see here are the things. So I, I, I saw some other uh, pictures online with people with like cracked um, branches here and there doesn't seem to be any of those on this. I mean, it's all natural. You can see that they've stuffed like paper or foam inside there just to give the shape. It's not gonna be solid uh, bristles all the way through. Uh, I guess they have to save on costs in that sense. And then now we are going to open up the uh, broom handle. Very, very exciting stuff. I wonder if I, when, comment below on what you think I should do, actually, you can't tell me what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna post this up after I give it to her. But I'm not sure if I should have it attached and then wrap it back up in this stuff so it's kind of like delivered and gifted like how Harry Potter got his. Or do I wrap it all back up individually, put it back in the box and wrap that box and give it to her? Um, I personally think it would be cool if we just wrapped it up like as is, like, I mean, assembled and it'll have that shape, but then it'll kind of like give it away. Um, 
when we when we give it ah, it's going to be it's going to be a tough decision i'm going to have to ask the wife what she thinks but uh let's uh open this thing up this is the mahogany handle oh wow that is actually very nice it is very shiny, very varnished. Solid wood. Has a good feel to it. And look at that. Nimbus 2000. That's hand carved in there and then hand painted in gold. Um, you're, just a FYI, in the movie, it does kind of look like this Nimbus 2000, but there is no line under the Nimbus. So that's a little inaccurate, um, but it does kind of give it a nice kind of whoosh, swoosh across um, to separate from the 2000, which is pretty nice. The varnish is really, really nice on this. And the wood grain is very nice too. You can see here, that's where it gets attached and it's solid wood all the way in there. It's not hollow. Okay, so let's uh, assemble that. So it's actually quite a big nut in there. And that's it, just two turns, really? It's about two full turns to get it like that. And it, you know what guys, it, I'm gonna, Set the camera back right now. Please uh, don't mind the, the shakiness and juddering. But uh, the handle, like, I mean, it's not, to me, it's a big deal when they um, design this for to screw in, uh, they design it to, to screw in straight, which is amazing. Because I find like with some, like the amount of quality control you need to have it uh, sit straight is, uh, is an extra cost to do it because somebody has to make sure that they screw in straight and if not they'll have to readjust but this thing is awesome and yeah this is a full-size nimbus 2000 so people this is perfect for cosplaying um it's beautiful to display as you can see me putting it on the table here um it's gorgeous it's huge it take, it'll take up a lot of room you can either hang it up on a wall. Uh, you can hang it like, you can hang it up on the wall, like sideways like this. Um, I'm not sure if this can be tightened. <laughs> um, you can, you can mount it on the wall like this as well. This is a little kind of shaky. It does loosen itself quite easily. So uh, either we put some blue Loctite on it, which is not permanent, don't use the red stuff, or you can use some Teflon. Uh, but back to display, you can either hang on the wall like that, or if you have a large table in your, and you just want to display it on your center island in your kitchen, you can just display it like that. But this is a beautiful, beautiful piece. It's gonna be an amazing birthday gift, um, her 40th birthday, it's a big one. Um, Still young, because I'm over 40. Uh, so younger than me at least. And this is gonna be an amazing showpiece. If you're a Harry Potter fan, this is an absolute must. Even if you're not the biggest fan like Sarah, um, this is still a piece to behold and to have in your collection. So if you have a bunch of wands, you can display it with it. Um, gonna have to figure out how to display it with this plaque kind of like that, something to hold it up. But this thing is gorgeous. And if you wall mount this, you can just put it up, you can wall mount it on the top or up beside it, uh, just like a museum piece. And wow, I'm really impressed. I'm kind of sad that I have to give this away, but uh, I'll be happier to see the look on her face and uh, my godson's face. Um, yeah, when she opens this up. So yeah. There you have it guys, this is the Cine Replicas uh, Nimbus 2000 limited edition to 10,000 worldwide. 
Uh, it is a gorgeous piece. Yeah, I'm very impressed with it. Please like and subscribe. Uh, please comment below what you guys think of this. Uh, I believe the other brooms that they came out with, uh, I forgot what they're called, the Nimbus 3000, 2001. Um, they weren't made with natural materials like this. It was all plastic and uh, I think plastic as well, or maybe some wood, uh, but nothing as natural looking as this. Like it's very earth, earthy, very um, green. I, I don't know what the word is, um, but uh, all these natural materials and uh, the metal here, it, it's gorgeous. So yeah, that's my little unboxing video. Now I gotta box it all back up or figure out how I'm going to gift wrap this. And uh, maybe I'll do a video of her opening this up and I'll post it up and give you guys an update after this. All right, so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace, bye.